everyone and welcome back to another Baking with Miss Curtis. This is the penultimate one and next week I think will be the final one that I do as that's the last week that we're in school but maybe I'll pop some up over the summer for you to have a little look at as well. So today I am making one of my most favourite desserts ever. I am making a Bramley apple crumble and this is definitely one of the favourites but no one quite makes it like my grandma does but I'm sure going to give her a run for her money. You'll have to excuse all the noise in the kitchen, it is dinner time, so we've got chips going, the oven's on, the fan's ready, but here is how you make the delicious apple crumble. So what you're going to need for this super easy crumble is 100 grams of granulated sugar, 75 grams of salted butter, and 150 grams of plain flour. You're also going to need three to four brownie apples, the next thing to do is peel and core these apples and put them into a pan of cold water. that you use the knife properly so I thought I'd just um, stop myself um, for a minute and just explain how I'm what grips I'm holding so there's a few so we can do the bridge one here this is really safe because it means all your little fingers out of the way make sure you've got an adult around with you when you've got a sharp knife to cut these you don't really need a sharp knife you could just use a kitchen knife that you eat your tea with because they're quite soft anyway but I'm gonna use a bridge hold I put the flatter side of my apple down so it stops it from wobbling all over the place okay but if you find it easier that way you can bridge it either way and then you're just going to cut slices of apple okay and you should just be able to do slices really easy sorry you didn't see that one let me do one more for you so you've got this one i've cored it okay so that means you take the core out so you can do that with a little swivel and cut down the middle so that core's removed i'm then going to put it face down I lift my hand up so you can see and then I'm going to cut there we go it's nice and flat now I'm just going to cut little my apples into thin slices the thin they, thinner they are the quicker they'll go softer um, and that's ideally what we want um, so yeah continue with this bridge hold and I find that this is the easiest way to core and um, prepare my apples <laughs> The next thing we need to do is drain our apples. So we've put them in some water so that they didn't ruin. So we're gonna drain them now. Then I'm gonna to top up my saucepan um, with the apples, two tablespoons of water, and half of the sugar that I weighed out earlier. I'm gonna put these on a medium heat now until they're stewed and mushy. While the apples are getting mushy, I'm going to make the crumble. So I'm going to add the remaining sugar, flour, and the butter to the pan, to the bowl. And I'm going to use my hands to turn it into a bread crummy kind of mix. some of them are just softer um, and then but some are holding their shape still so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop it into my oval dish so I'm going to put a layer of my apples and then I've got my crumble to go on top and then that can go straight in the oven so it's ready for after tea as you might have seen as well I've added in some cheeky little oats um, my grandma always used to put these, or does still put these in her crumble, and I think it just adds a little bit of extra flavour. So try adding some oat to yours. This now needs to go into the oven for about 30 minutes. So that's just enough time for us to eat our dinner before it's ready. 
so that is our finished crumble you can see it's still bubbling it's nice and hot and it's gone a bit more of a golden color than it was before it looks yummy it smells yummy so we're going to enjoy it after our lovely dinner with a bit of cream you could also if you're feeling ambitious add other fruits to it so you could add blackberries you could add cranberries or black currants that would be really nice as well and maybe add a bit of cinnamon to the crumble that would be really yummy too and then maybe you could add some custard instead of cream or maybe ice cream as well as a little treat happy baking <laughs>